Guys, welcome back to the Bad Monkey Show. And today's video is actually going to be something of a follow up or a sequel to the last video I uploaded where I talked about a very quick tip for freelance web developers. Because in today's video, I'm actually going to be sharing another tip, but this one is going to be on how to actually get hired. What is the biggest thing that you can do to get yourself hired either for a company and become a junior web developer working for that company or maybe as a freelance web developer on platforms like Upwork or Fiverr. I'm going to share what I believe is going to be the biggest tip for you. So hopefully if you're a junior web developer, you're trying to get hired or you're trying to become a freelance web developer. I believe that this tip will really help you uh, find work. Now, what is this tip? Well, First of all, I'm pretty sure I don't need to tell you that getting hired as a junior web developer is becoming increasingly difficult because not only do you have so many web developers out there, there is also this sort of uh, shift in the hiring process where many companies now would rather choose to hire a senior web developer as opposed to a junior web developer. Now, even though the senior web developer, they would have to pay them sometimes two or three times what they would pay the junior web developer. The reason why they would still rather go with the senior web developer is because of the trust that they already have in that senior web developer. The mere fact that he or she is a senior web developer, the company already believes that, oh, they have the necessary experience and skills, and they're more than likely going to be an asset as opposed to being a liability. And they don't care even if they have to pay that developer $100,000, $150,000 a year, they believe they'll get the job done. And that's the most important thing for them. The trick or the issue rather with the junior web developers is that yes, even though the company would pay them sometimes 50% uh, or even 75% less, than what they would pay the senior web developer, they don't have that trust in the junior web developer because guess what? They're junior web developers. The company cannot trust them to actually get the job done. The company doesn't trust their skills or their experience or their expertise. So there is that level of mistrust. And this is why so many companies now would rather hire a senior web developer as opposed to the junior web developer. So what do you do if you are still a junior web developer? You don't have the experience to call yourself a senior web developer. How would you actually get hired? Here's the thing. You need to make that company that they're trying to get hired for. You need to make them to trust you and trust or have some faith in you to actually get the job done. Now, how do you do that? How can you prove to the company that, hey, I'm your guy, pick me. I can get the job done for you. I know I'm a junior web developer. I know I don't have five or 10 plus years of experience, but I can bring a lot to the table. I can help your company. I'm gonna be an asset. How do you prove this to them? It's actually quite simple. You need to build something that you can show them that, hey, I actually built this, I designed this. If you have some programming skills, you can build a very simple application. It doesn't have to be something sophisticated or advanced. It could be a very simple application that your mother or your friends or your family members use. It's enough. But if it's an application, you can show them and say, hey, I actually built this application. With this application, you can do this, you can do that you're already proving to the company or the HR department that, hey, I have the skills, I'm productive, I can actually get some things done. If you're not a programmer, if you don't have programming skills, you have web development skills, guess what? You can build a portfolio of websites. It could be three or four websites, build them, have a link to those websites, make sure they're live on the internet, and then you can share these websites with the hiring team. You can show them that, hey, look, I built this website. This website is for uh, 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 a clothing store. It's an e-commerce store as an example, or this other website is for charity. This other website is for a business. If you're able to build websites for real people and real businesses, even if it's for free, I would encourage you to do so. 
because this way, think of it as an investment, right? This way you can show the company, you can show them that, look, I have the skills. I've built this website. Take a look at them. I built this website right here. I built this website last month. This website uses uh, WordPress. This website uses uh, custom HTML, CSS, and PHP, things like that, right? You need to be able to prove to the hiring team that you have the skills necessary to get the job done and either having like an application you can show them that you've built or having a portal of websites, that is the easiest way to get or rather to prove to them that you can get the job done. Now, that's if you want to get hired for uh, to work for a company, right? But what if you want to get hired as a freelance web developer on, say, a site like Fiverr or Upwork? I'm going to introduce to you Fiverr in here, right? And I want to show you something, okay? So in here, I searched for WordPress customization. I wanted to see the service providers in here. And of course, I can see quite a lot of them, right? I can see uh, Richard Cade. He charges $40, uh, five stars, 334 reviews, amazing. And then there is the one with the pro uh, tag, okay, Dev Shujon from $300, wow, okay. Now I'm thinking, okay, yeah, this, th this is looking really, really, really good. Not only is he a pro, he's actually charging a lot more. Instantly, I already have more confidence in Dev Shujon because he does have the pro tag and is also charging significantly more than Richard Kate. Now, obviously, if I couldn't afford Dev Shujon, if I really don't have $300, then I probably would go with Richard Kate, right? But if I had the money, I'd go with Dev Shujon because I already have more trust in him. However, I want to show you something else, okay? I've clicked on Kate's profile, and if you notice, uh, I do apologize, my internet, okay, <laughs> it's back, okay. You can see that he really doesn't have uh, that much, like, I was expecting to see, like, a portfolio of websites that he's built or something, uh, you know, along that nature, and uh, I do apologize, my, my internet Wi-Fi is messing up again, but... The point I'm trying to make here is that in here, he doesn't really have anything to prove that he's actually good at the job, other than the fact that he does have 334 reviews and they're five stars. So he does have that going for him, I would, I would accept. However, okay, so now you can see he, he does have an image in here of a site he's built. Okay, cool, fine. However, I want to show you the difference, okay? Look at Dev Shujon in here. Dev Shujon... Not only does he have like images of websites that he's built, but he actually has a video. And this is the video right here. He's telling you that, hey, I can get the job done for you. I customize WordPress websites. These are the sites I've built. You can see he's showing Elemental right there. Okay, it's a video. Now he's not talking in the video. But it's still a video and it definitely helps with conversion, right? But ultimately, I wouldn't choose Richard Cade and I wouldn't choose Dev Shujon either. Do you know who I'm gonna choose? I'm gonna choose this guy right here, simply called Ian. Yeah, he charges $35 cheaper than Cade and Dev Shujon. And I know that in my previous video, I talked about how you shouldn't be too cheap because that might actually turn off like good clients because good clients would think, oh, if you're charging less than your competition, then you're probably not as good as them. However, Ian has two things going for him. Number one, he's Fiverr's choice. He's Fiverr's choice. At this point, I don't care if you're a pro or you have 10,000 five-star reviews. If Fiverr themselves are vouching for you, that's already enough. However, even if Ian didn't have the Fiverr Choice tag, guess what? Ian has an actual hey video. Guys, I'm Ian, Shopify partner and developer here on Fiverr.com, and I specialize in Shopify theme editing. I'm not gonna play the full video, but right there, I can see Ian. I can see his face. He's talking to me. 
I feel like I already know something about Ian. This is one of the best ways how you can actually get hired on platforms like Fiverr or Upwork or any, any other platform out there. If they provide you with the ability to upload a video talking about yourself and what you can do for your clients, by all means, make that video. And no, 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 don't tell me, oh, I'm camera shy. I don't have the confidence. Forget about that. You want to get paid, right? You want to make money? You want to get jobs? Then make the video. Smile. It's not that complicated. Trust me, okay? I know I've been making videos for years. And it's easy for me to say so. But trust me, get in front of a mural, practice, and you'll be fine. But make the video talking about, hi, you know, my name is Jacob, my name is Nancy, I customize in this, I can help you with that, uh, blah, blah, blah. A few things about me, I love playing chess, I love traveling. Like, connect with your prospective client. When the client sees a face, they, it, it's, it's something that's, that's even like subconscious. They already have some level of trust that, oh, I can see this person. I can hear them talking to me, I can see them. I'm already attracted to them because of that. This is so much better than just some guy just uploading slides of, hey, that's my face and uh, I do website management and uh, we take care of your online presence. Okay. Or even the pro guy who, yes, he does have a video, but in the video, he's not talking and for all I know, this video may have been made with, with AI or whatever. Like, I, I don't even know, right? But there is no personality behind this video. There is certainly no personality behind Richard Cade's profile. But Ian, Ian has all the personality because I can see him talking. Like, look at him. He's talking, he's smiling, he's like, you know, hey, you know, my name is Ian, I specialize in WordPress customization, I do this and I do that, and look, even in the background, he does have musical instruments, so I already have the belief that, okay, he loves playing musical instruments, you can see the piano right there, so I already feel like I know something about Ian, and this is exactly why if I was the one, if I had to choose, I would go with Ian, and trust me, so many other people would think the exact same way as well. And, and I'm not saying that it's because of Ian's video, that's why he's Fiverr's choice. But let me ask you this question, okay? How do you think Fiverr determines or decides who gets the Fiverr's choice tag? If you have two, three, four, five service providers within the same category, they all have amazing reviews, they all have the same years of experience, how would Fiverr actually determine who they should give the Fiverr's Choice tag to, because this is a very, very, very important tag. I'm not saying it's because of the video, but, can I, but can, I can almost guarantee that that video helped to a certain extent, okay? Obviously, Ian had to get his five-star reviews and get you no know, positive reviews from a lot of customers, of course, but having that video, Fiverr being able to see Ian, hear him talk, hear him speak, that already sends a signal to Fiverr that, oh, maybe we can actually trust this guy because we can see him, we can hear what he's talking about. We kind of know something about him already. So that's basically the tip I wanted to share with you. If you want to get hired as a freelance uh, developer, either on Fiverr or Upwork or any other platform out there, if they provide you with the ability to upload a video, introducing yourself to your prospective client, by all means, please take full advantage of that so that's it for today's video a lot longer than the previous video i uploaded but hopefully i've been able to share with you uh two very very important tips uh to get hired either as a junior web developer for a company or to get hired as a freelance web developer on platforms like uh, Fiverr as an example. So if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up, share the video with anyone who may feel might benefit from it. And of course, if you're new here to the channel, welcome. My name is Alex. I make videos around WordPress and web development and so on. So if you enjoy content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.